friends once again welcome back to the automation revolution uh, today in this video i will show you how to make plc to drive communication so in this plc drive communication uh, we will use a telegram application so telegram is actually a facility provided by siemens uh, so that in that telegram we will add a gsd file of g120 drive in the siemens ta portal software and then uh, we will use control status bar uh, for making this drive enable and uh, we can set uh, set points speed rpm as well as uh, we can make this different start stop method uh, in this drive using this plc so first uh, we will add plc in this software so here we have this siemens ti portal and i will add siemens s7 1200 cpu So here we have uh, this CPU 21, uh, 1214C ACD serial. And here we are using uh, proxy net communication uh, between this uh, PLC and drive. So first of all, uh, we will configure this Ethernet address. So here uh, you can see here. Uh, we have given this address by default 192.168.0.1 and uh, first I will configure this PLC so just download this PLC into hardware and here we have this connection coffee net or industrial ethernet so by networking uh, tracking this network we are getting here this IP address and then we load the PLC So here we have successfully loaded uh, configuration in this PLC hardware and then uh, we will switch into network view and uh, here from the hardware catalog uh, we will add a GSD file for this G120 uh, uh, drive. So first of all we go for this other fuel devices from their Profinet IO. Here we are using Profinet or industrial ethernet for the communication. Uh, so due to that we are uh, switching this uh, profinet input output and from there i will select the drive and cinemic series and here we have uh, so many different model for the siemens g120 uh, ac drive so from there we will select uh, whatever we have uh, the hardware so right now we have this cinemix g120 cu uh, 250s 2pn vector 7 uh, v 4.7 version so this hardware we will drag and drop into this network view and uh, here <coughs> this gst file uh, also have this ethernet address so that you can know from this property so you can see uh, plc ip address we have assigned 0 0.1 so here we will keep different ip address so this IP address must be different from this PLC IP address. So I will change this 0 0.2 and then I will make a Profinet connection between this PLC and uh, uh, Cinemix C120 uh, drive. So I will just drag and drop here. So you can see uh, we are getting here PLC Profinet input output connection. So after making successful uh, connection between PLC and uh, this Cinemix G120 drive uh, then we will double click on this drive and we will open this device overview and uh, here we will add telegram. So telegram is facility provided by uh, the manufacturer uh, so here Siemens so that we can add sub module and here we are getting different telegram option. So from there we will use standard telegram. So here uh, 2x2, 4x4, uh, four four, the, the different telegram we are getting. 
so 2 by 2 means here we are getting two input uh, word and a two output control word uh, in this telegram and uh, this word input and output we can use for controlling the drive from the plc so i will uh, just double click on this telegram so it will be added in this device overview you can see and here we are getting input address and output address and downside also uh, in property we can get input address so here we are uh, using two input and uh, two output so this input uh, starting address is 68 and uh, output starting address is 64 so there are two control word we are using here and after that I will download this configuration into drive so just compile and download here once again we will track the network and uh, with this subnet Puffy Network Industrial Ethernet uh, we will download this DST file into uh, the drive so I will go for load Now we have downloaded uh, this telegram with uh, Siemens G120 Cinemix uh, GST file and then uh, I will show you one excel file uh, with the control word details. So uh, Siemens has already given uh, us the control status word based on this uh, different bit. So there are a combination of 16 bit uh, based on the operations on off and then enable operations ramp generator and fold acknowledgement jog1 plc control set point so we are getting a uh, total 16 uh, bit combination and uh, based on the operation on off uh, run control reverse control fold acknowledgement off 2 and off 3 so here uh, we have uh, this list from this uh, control of uh, control status word and uh, based on this list we are getting hex code so this hex code we will uh, move into uh, control status for, for this telegram and uh, this hex code uh, will run this drive through the plc so if you want to uh, enable the drive so we will move this hex code 47e into uh, control status for, for the telegram if you want to uh, run in this four direction so we will move this control status for 47f so these are the hex code uh, we will move into control status for so for that we will go for this programming block and here I will use main ob and in this main ob I will take move block and uh, here we will use first enable so for the enable we will move this hex code into control status word so you can see from this telegram the first control status word is 64 so we will uh, assign qw64 and second control word uh, qw66 so here i will assign qw64 So that will be control status word for enable and here I will assign any digital input from PLC. So while I will uh, give this digital input so at that time this hex code will uh, move into PW64 and uh, drive will run. So here I will add this run command and uh, now I will assign another digital bit to move into forward direction and once again we will take move block and here we will assign this hex code to run into forward direction so this will be forward command
the same what we will use so the first this control status what will be uh, digital operation like on off and uh, enable forward or reverse command that uh, control status what we will use for the digital operation and uh, third one I will use now we will use for reverse operation qw64 then we will use stop method to stop the drive once again I will use digital input and for uh, this top we have OFF3 and OFF2 method so we will use OFF3 code here and same control status what we will use here If you want to vary the speed, so we can uh, use the second control status word uh, QW66. Uh, so here I will uh, use move block and I will assign uh, here analog input from the PLC. So here uh, we are getting uh, two analog input in the calendar uh, 1214 CCDC relay and uh, I will assign first analog input IW64 and that uh, uh, value analog value will be moved into second control status word 66 so uh, I can vary uh, the motor speed from this analog set point so for that we will add uh, two parameters in this drive that after assigning this uh, run command we will download this program and then we will see into uh, hardware how actually it works here you can see uh, we have Siemens S7 1200 CPU and uh, with this switch we have connected this G120 AC drive uh, with this PLC so here downside this profinet cable is connected with this switch and uh, from the switch we have connected this PLC and then drive that is mandatory for this communication so here now in this uh, IOP we will enter to uh, parameter that is mandatory for the communication between uh, drive and PLC so first of all uh, we will switch to move uh, menu and from there parameters and search by number so here uh, we will uh, set first P1000 parameter so this uh, parameter uh, for speed set point selection so I will uh, here change the value and uh, we will search this 1000 parameter number and in this 1000 I will set 6 number for the field bus so that will be a speed set point selection and then we will escape second parameter uh, we will add or we will change that is 700 and here I will add the value 6 and then escape so now we have successfully uh, changed. so now you can see we here we have a PLC to drive communication setup uh, with this profinet or industrial ethernet cable and uh, here we have digital inputs and analog input now I will uh, give the input from the PLC so first of all I will assign this enable bit and then I will give the input for this uh, run so you can see the motor is started and uh, I can vary the speed from this analog set point I 
taken off the drive so this is for stop so you can see the drive uh, can be stopped from the PLC now I can uh, run this motor in reverse direction from this PLC input so motor is running in reverse direction now I can stop so this is how we can uh, establish communication between PLC and uh, drive with this Profinet cable uh, with the help of this telegram software so please keep watching our video and thank you very much uh, please share and subscribe uh, our video as much as uh, for more detail about industrial automation thank you very much mm -hmm.